Hey guys, it's Tiffany from My Life in the Beehive, and today we're going to be talking about weight loss. So it's a new year, and I've learned that this is, you know, the goal of so many people during the new year to lose weight. So this year, it's no different for me. I have had this resolution more times than I can count. I need to set a better example for my daughter on how to be healthy. So this isn't really about losing weight, although that's a fun, perky benefit. This is about becoming healthy and understanding, um, I wanna understand why I gained this weight. Uh, at first, I it was really easy for me to find an excuse. I really had to take a moment and really reflect what is going on. And I realized that I'm not allowing myself to be happy. I'm putting so many things ahead of myself that it is impossible to accomplish these goals because I'm not working on becoming happy. So that's really what this is about, um, becoming the person I wanna be and figuring that out. So this is just kind of kind of evolved. So in order to achieve the weight loss side, I did, I'm going to anyway, join Weight Watchers at the end of this week. I'm gonna do their online program. I'm excited to learn some new tidbits about myself and about um, getting that all ready. I, in preparation for this journey, I did start a bullet journal or, um, yeah, it's a bullet journal. And I got this one from Walmart. I really, I like the design with the gold polka dots. That's totally me. I like that it has a linen binding on it. And what I really like about it is that it lies flat. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a walkthrough. And then next Tuesday, I'll just give updates on how I'm doing. And once a month, I'll just show you my bullet journal for weight loss. So if we start, I started with an opening quote and it just says, there is no challenge more challenging than the challenge to improve yourself. And I kind of feel like that's where I'm at right now is I'm just looking to improve myself. I'm looking to find that little ha bit of happiness that I hear about. So I actually started this journal um, in July when I tried the Whole30, we did it for a month. And even though um, I felt really good after it, it just was really hard for me to maintain in my life and I was so tired of getting complaints because I kind of had my child do it too. So she went off sugar for 30 days and it was just, it was really hard for us. So I'm going back to Weight Watchers and that's what I'm, I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna just skip those pages. There is an index. So this is the start of my January and it's another quote and it just says, you can't pour, you can't pour from an empty cup take care of yourself first. And again, that's going with just learning how to take care of me. And then this is my calendar and I purposely um, did it all wibbly wonky because that's kind of how I feel on the inside. I'm definitely not a straight line. And in this calendar, um, it doesn't really have anything on it except it's just asking what activity I did and how long I did it. So like on the first, I went for a walk for 30 minutes and actually, what I did was I just walked around Goodwill and Sabres, so I counted it. All right, so now on this page is my goals, and like I said, since I'm trying to improve myself, I have goals for my mind, my body, and my soul. And if you go through them, it just says daily journal, read more, stay offline one day a week. Oh gosh, that one's going to be super hard for me, but I feel like I'm too connected that and it's actually... Um, making it harder for me to accomplish my goals. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try really hard to do that. I'm write my gratitude journal and then my body is walk 30 minutes, eat foods that make me feel good and energized, eat more veggies and try 30 days of yoga. So that actually starts today. I'm gonna try it before bed because I have a hard time sleeping. And I heard yoga can really help you when you go to sleep. So then, um, and then with my soul, it's meditation, go to bed at a reasonable time, explore. Um, and by that, I mean like, just get out of my comfort zone a little bit and declutter because, oh man, I'm the worst at cluttering. So then over here, 
So I'm trying to figure out why I eat when I'm emotional and why I, I'm doing the things I'm doing to sabotage myself. So I have 30 days of journal prompts and these are just all on emotional eating. On my blog, um, I list all the journal prompts, or I don't, I have a link to the list of the journal prompts. Um, I will also have pictures of all these pages. So don't worry if you don't see it all. So this is just, again, it's a wibbly wobbly line. This is just a, a habit tracker. And it has things on there at wake up at 6 a.m., 30 minutes of walking, eat breakfast. That is my biggest downfall. I do not eat breakfast. I can go up to two meals without eating and I'll feel fine. Like, it doesn't deplete my energy. It doesn't. But I also know um, just from, again, taking nutrition classes that when you do not eat regularly, then your body goes into what's called um, starvation mode. And it will start, um, instead of ex uh, taking out the calories when you're trying to burn them, it will hold on to everything because it doesn't know when it's gonna eat again. So I know that that happens and yet I still do it. Okay, so then I have journaling, scripture study, exercise, clean sink, oh my gosh, dishes. Man, when you don't have a dishwasher, yeah, I, I it's true, I do not have a dishwasher. Dishes get piled up so easily and it takes me an hour and a half to clean them. So my goal is, is just to have them done and uh, after we eat or after dinner, like every night, so they don't get piled up and it doesn't take me a year to do them. Okay, uh, laundry, every, I don't have to explain that one. Etsy, yeah, cause I have my Etsy business, sells vintage stuff, YouTube, doing that one today, hey, hey. Um, Instagram, I did really good yesterday, I Instagram twice. I'm horrible about Instagram, but I'm hoping to get better. All right, so then I have clean living room, clean kitchen, because nobody wants to live in a cluttered house. How can you feel healthy in a cluttered house? That, I don't know, maybe that's part of my problem. Um, no sugar. So this one um, is more of a like, I'm trying to limit my sugar. So if I have sugar in the day or I treat myself, I'm not gonna freak out. I know the point values and I take it into account with what I'm eating. So I'm not worried about that one, but I have it on there. Taking my vitamins, I am horrible with taking my vitamins. Um, quality family time. So this kind of goes with the no screen, like putting the screen down and just really enjoying the people that are in my life, my beautiful daughter and my amazing husband. And this is medicine. So, and then down here I have my sleep tracker. Um, I'm, I heard that sleep really helps with losing weight and feeling healthy and feeling energized. So, if you're like me and you only sleep six hours a night, maybe that's part of my problem. So I'm gonna try to get eight hours of sleep. That's my goal. All right, so this is it's since it's January and it's still snowing, this is my feelings tracker, my mood tracker. And this is my key right here. And so it, there's plenty of space in my snowflakes so that I can, um, if I feel different moods, because there's no way that somebody can feel hap there's happy all day. There, there's a range of emotions. And so when I'm feeling like depressed or lonely, which you know happens, I want to make sure that I track it right away and I leave enough room for the rest of the day because I want to show myself, hey, look at I was depressed there, but it was only a second. By the end of the day, I was happy again. So, and then this is, that's me. And this is just my weight tracker. So. Um, you lose inches faster than you lose pounds, and honestly, that's really what I'm going to focus on, but I do have weight up here, and then I can color these in. Each one goes for five pounds, so we'll see. I haven't decided if that's what I'm going to do. I have this cute washi tape right here that I got at Michael's, I want to say. All right. So then these pages are just dedicated to my journaling. 
So, and I'll, and then when I have free time, I'll just doodle something in here. That, um, I'll just doodle something in here that has to do with that day. So, like, the first day's question was, what is your biggest barrier to lose weight and why? I mean, deep thinking stuff right here. I thought I'd fill up more, but I'm kind of surprised I didn't. So, there's, like, 15 pages of that. So, you're just going to skip ahead. All right. So then this page is uh, non-skill victories. It's really important to, you know, not focus on one thing and become obsessed. So instead of focusing on the skill, I'll be focusing on things like, hey, I made it up the mountain today on a family hike. Or um, I'm in a new dress size. Or, you know, fun things like that non-skill victories. I was in a good mood and energized for a whole week. That would be freaking amazing. I would take that over weight loss anytime. Okay. So then we have treat yourself. There I am in the bathtub. It's me too. And these are just uh, rewards that I'll get if I lose weight. So like five pounds is new washi tape. That's what like this is right here. Uh, 10 pounds is new stencils. That's what I used for these the stencils. And 15 pounds, new workout clothes, 20 pounds, new socks. So basically, and I'll have this up on my blog. Uh, what I'm trying to show you is, is that you don't have to spend money to treat yourself. I even have a bubble bath on here because I love bubble baths. Could you imagine an, I don't know, 45 minute bubble bath all to yourself? Nobody knocking on the door. Oh my gosh, that sounds so amazing. And just being content with yourself. I, I mean, I'm this, I'm excited for this. Okay, so these are my points for Weight Watchers. Um, this is the points I'm allowed in. And this is like, this is how many hey, yesterday. Today it will be higher. Yesterday I didn't eat breakfast because I slept through it. So, um, see, my problem is, is I don't eat enough food. And when I do, it's too much. So my goal is to hit this line or be under it. And then I have 49 extra points. So if I go over it, I can just kind of average that out and figure that out. So, and I think, oh, and then there's one more page. So, and then this is a list of zero point foods from Weight Watchers. I have the link for this on my blog if you'd like it because I honestly didn't put it all down. There are so many zero point foods now on Weight Watchers, I was just kind of amazed by it. So, um, this, is, this is my journal for right now. I am super optimistic. I am i can't believe that I didn't take this challenge up sooner, but I am extremely ecstatic that I'm doing it now. Better late than never, right? Uh, I hope that you'll join me and I hope that uh, we can learn together about not losing weight, but just becoming healthy, just becoming comfortable in your own skin. And, doing things that, you know, you love. That's that's my goal. That's my goal with this. So next week, I'll just give you a weight loss update. And once a month, I'll update my bullet journal and show you my spreads for it. And then I also have a regular bullet journal for regular life. And I'll do another video for that. And um, you can look for it uh, in the upcoming week definitely because I want it to get out for January. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my channel and for watching this weight loss update. Um, I will have later this week, I'll do a haul video and um, I'll figure out some fun things to do. So just look for that and let me know what your goals are this New Year's. Are you trying to lose weight? Are you trying to become healthy? Uh, let's start a community going. Let's cheer each other on. So that's it. Thank you guys. Again, this is Tiffany from My Life in the Beehive.
Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to see upcoming videos. And I want to hear from you in the comments. Did you start a diet? What are you doing? What are your goals? And be sure to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and my blog.